Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Patek Philippe 5056P Annual Calendar. You can see this platinum annual calendar on our website, WatchYouWant.com. Purchase it there and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this late 90s to mid 2000s reference has classical dress watch proportions. 37 millimeters across the round of the case. It has a reasonably deep case with a dramatically stepped bezel for a thickness of 11 millimeters, but because of the slope of that case flank, it easily fits underneath the dress cuff. And from lug to lug, it is quite compact, 44 millimeters. This is a very easy watch to wear with any kind of tight sleeve or dress cuff. It is a quintessential formal watch, but it's also a remarkably versatile one. Before we step into the versatile aesthetic of this timepiece, it's good to talk about the very traditional and exceptionally high grade alligator leather strap. Now here, finished with a high gloss and a monotone stitch. On the bottom, it's matched by a very supple calfskin, and you can see that the pin buckle Likewise platinum, 95% pure, is beautifully designed but simply executed, the focal point here being the watch itself. Now you can see that the timepiece has a wonderfully sensuous case. The lugs seem to curve in every direction. You can see that the slope of that domed bezel and the stepped sapphire flows almost seamlessly into the compound curve of the case flank. Again, it's almost like a little teapot. It has a kind of a quaint form to it in as much as it's discreet in its proportions but dramatically shaped. Now the watch also features the characteristic inset diamond at 6 o'clock signifying this is a platinum Patek Philippe. This is a practice that started roughly around the time this watch came into production in the late 90s and it's something that's remained a cornerstone of Patek Philippe platinum watches to this day. It's very discreet. It's one of the few applications of diamonds in a men's watch that almost every male watch enthusiast can agree is 100 percent appropriate. In terms of versatility, the combination of a dark dial and a white metal means that this watch is obviously a fantastic dress reference, but it can absolutely be worn with short sleeves and short pants. Now you can see that there's a dramatic sunburst pattern to the dial. It is grained and deeply so. As I move it through the light, you can see the light playing across that grained surface from the center. You can also see gorgeous white gold Roman numerals and note in characteristic Patek practice, no use of a watchmaker's four at four o'clock. You also notice a wonderfully traditional white printed railroad track, seconds and minutes track outboard of the hours, and inboard the dial has a wonderful balance to it, with the power reserve being counterbalanced at the bottom of the dial by the date window and the moon phase, and the day being counterbalanced by the month. Now the annual calendar complication was introduced shortly before this reference came online. Uh, first patented in 1996 by Patek Philippe, it was the first of its kind. Annual calendars had not existed prior to that standpoint. It was typically complex calendars or perpetual calendars. So you could have a triple date, you could even have a triple date in a moon phase, but unless it was a pure perpetual there was a permanent division between the high-end complications and those that simply rendered the date. The annual calendar, which requires correction only once per year in the jump from February to March, brought something entirely new to the market and those who've been inside the watch will testify to the fact that Patek Philippe's annual calendar is just as complex if not more so than their perpetual. Now when you turn the watch over you can see a base caliber 315 with enhancements to include IRM or Indicateur Reserve de Marche, a power reserve, QA, Cantiem Annuel, the annual calendar, S for center seconds, and the watch is remarkably complete in the sense that all of the complications you would need to enjoy the watch on a daily basis, the romance of the moon phase, the practicality of the date, as well as the quintessential practical complication, the power reserve, are simply displayed on the front and on the case back you enjoy the beauty behind the movement. That is, you can see the Geneva seal caliber, you can see the gorgeous Cote de Genève across the rotor, circular in that case, linear across the bridges and the balance cock. You can see the Patek Philippe Gyromax style free sprung balance, free sprung so it has greater resistance to shock induced timing variations. Of course, these watches discontinued in the mid 2000 all feature Geneva seal 
So the Geneva Hallmark atop the bridges, the older standard of aesthetic vetting that was applied to Patek up until July of 2009, and the watch has an average power reserve of approximately 45 hours when fully wound. This is a watch that is important, historically important in Patek Philippe history, as one of the earliest examples of the annual calendar. In platinum, it has incredible wrist heft, despite its 37mm case. It is a gorgeous case, a gorgeous bezel, and a gorgeous lug combination, and dials don't become, honestly, they don't come much more charismatic than this. The combination of the sunburst, the gorgeous loomed foy hands at center, the white lancet seconds hand, and that bosom style moon face are essentially manna from heaven for the hardcore watch complication enthusiast. You can see this Patek Philippe 5056P and buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com.